This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't know whether you can tell, but it's actually getting dark. Uh, it's 20 past nine at night right now. Not the morning, at night. I'm just about to finish a 15 hour shift. Um, I started at half past six this morning, so I got until half past nine um, on a 15 hour shift. We've, uh, it's actually in my last video, we got the rejected load. That's the day we started recording. Uh, so we got the rejected load. We ended up going back to Chep. Um, we were there for about four hours, I think, waiting. My colleague got this trailer loaded. We then done a trailer swap in the yard and I've driven up here for the four hours or so that it's taken to get up to Wrexham. That is where we are. That is where you join me. So this video has kind of started from, uh, from the end of last one. Uh, just missed out the Chep delivery, that's all. So yes, we are in Wrexham. We are fully loaded with timber for a delivery tomorrow morning um, to, to one of the sites in Wrexham that we go to often, quite a lot. We're also getting reloaded out of the same place to go to Bridge End tomorrow. So tomorrow, and we'll be part of this video, we shall be going down to Bridge End. North Wales to South Wales, that is what we're doing. Um, but yes, I'm starting to get a little bit tired, but I thought I'd start the video tonight. I'm gonna to show you around the truck as well. Once we park up, we'll be parked up in a, in a moment if there's space. Um, it's a space I've been parking at recently for a while, but I've been turning around in someone's yard and parking right at the front. I'm thinking I might go right down to the bottom and have a look, see what's down there. Because if I've got to reverse all the way back out, so be it. Like, there's space up there as well if needed. No, nope, not this right, next right. There's, um, it's, like I said, it's so late at night now, it's 20 past nine, that if I need to reverse out of somewhere, I could, because it's going to be quite quiet. This road doesn't appear to be busy. I've stayed in there one night before as well, but this particular road is busy, but up where we're going doesn't appear to be so much. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, we're going to go left here. How busy is it? We might end up having to reverse all the way back out. Oh, wow, there's a truck on the left. So, yeah, we normally park on the right, but the truck's decided to park on the left, causing uh, a bit of a zigzag here, look. But, yeah, I normally park right here, opposite him, but he's decided to park there. He or she, I should say. Um, and I normally turn around where this barrow has been lifted up here, look, but there's a truck in there. But I've decided to come all the way down here, because I think I can park anywhere down here, look, by the looks of it. Plenty of space. And I can turn left into here, and then I'm thinking of reversing over there. It could be a bit quieter. But I can see there's a truck over there. There is a truck over there already. I might be able to park. I think I can park behind him as well, so I'll get even further. So we park over here. Sorry, drive over here. And then we're going to be doing uh, a bit of reversing that. Cheeky bit of reversing to finish off our shift with. Hazards on, just in case anyone is coming. Lovely. <laughs> and then we're just going to reverse all the way around here for a little bit. Let's go for a second gear and reverse. Build up some speed. Here we go. So yeah, I've never, I've never come all the way down here, but it, this looks like it's going to be even quieter than where I park at the front. I think even less traffic is going to come down here. I predict. Let's get right over to the left. I'm just going to take a look at this entrance here. Be nosy, really. Yeah, so that car park's blocked off. And that looks like it's blocked off as well. So I can't see any lorries needing to get in this entrance. 
so that's good. Um, but yeah, we're going to park down here on the lift. We're we'll parked far enough away so someone else can park behind us, close enough to this one. I don't know why this lorry's parked on the um, on the pavement. A, it's illegal to park on pavements. And B, there's plenty of space. You don't need to, but he has for some reason. Never mind. Rest period required soon. I know. I'm going to go and rest soon. Let's go and do a um, end of day check on the trailer outside. See you out there. Okay, here we go. Out of the truck. I've just been driving for about three and a half hours, four hours straight, something like that. Let's check the truck over. So yeah, we're just checking all the lights are working. So if the bulb was gone, we could replace it now. We'll wake up a little bit earlier in the morning to do it. All the lights are working on the side of the trailer. Tires are inflated. We appear to have a bit of <laughs> movement up there. It is strapped up. Hmm. We're well, literally just around the corner from our delivery. There's not an awful lot we can do about that. I wonder how that's happened. It's all strapped up. That's strange. Um, we go check the other side. This is why you do end of day checks, look. So if there are any problems, you can try and rectify it before you continue. I couldn't see that from my uh, position in the driver's seat. Yeah, it's all good that on the side as well. Tires are inflated, all the lights are on. Just a little bit concerning about that um, bit of timber that's moved. Just the one look. What I'm going to do is quickly throw a strap over here and just see whether the timber can actually come out or not. Um, I'm hoping because that strap's over, it was it won't move. That's what we're going to try now. Right, I've thrown a strap over, and uh, yeah, it's pretty secure. It's not moving off. Look. None of it's coming off. I'm tugging on this. None of it's coming off, which means it's secure. That one's a bit wobbly, but I think the strap up there is holding it in. So I think what we do is uh, use a bit of magic here with my wrist. <laughs> and we'll put another strap over on the end. Right, so when I put a strap right on the end, they wasn't moving because the strap on the right hand side is holding the whole pallet down pretty much the whole length but just to be safe put another strap on and uh it's one of these pull down ones so you can get even more power for it. even more strength so that's now like proper tight get that. Could you try again? i'm not talking to you watch <laughs> my watch thinks i'm okay. talking to it i'm not talking to you so yeah i'm quite confident now that that ain't gonna come off looks a bit ugly but um yeah not a lot we can do and we're literally just around the corner um like two minutes that way and we're there so we're just keeping on it in the morning anyway that's my shift finish i need to go put it on uh on rest uh gonna go cook myself some lasagna for dinner of course when i say cook myself i mean microwave <laughs> let's get the microwave on we press that switch on I can go over there. Open up this. Ta da! Microwave. Uh, microwave from Chill, 900 watt, 8 minutes, 800 watt, 10 minutes. Move it on for 10 minutes just to be safe then. Hang on, this is quite a big lasagna, I just thought. Never mind. Open there. You can go in there. And. 10 minutes. There we go. Doesn't look like you're going to be spinning though. Never mind. Oh no, I don't know if you can see that. It is spinning. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Aha! Oh, can go there. We need a plate. This is going to be hot, isn't it? I need two hands for this. Yeah, I need two hands. There we go. Catch up ready as well. 
Thank you, Microwave. You've done your job. Appreciate it. And then we turn off that inverter. Lovely. Right. I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to have some lasagna. Yeah, so just in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I've had my food. I'm now watching TV uh, while I'm sat in the driver's seat. Watching The Mandalorian. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. I probably watch this and then um, when it's finished, I'll probably go straight to bed, to be honest with you. Lay down in bed to go to sleep and I start again at uh, half six in the morning, so pretty much nine hours after I stopped. And uh, I put my card on rest, so yeah. Um, I bid you farewell, good night, and I shall see you in the morning. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, morning everyone. How are you? We are um, in the destination, uh, the delivery point, and we've taken off all our straps, so we're good to go in. We're just waiting to, uh, to be let in. Because we didn't park up until half past nine last night, couldn't start until half past six this morning, do our 15 minute checks, which meant we couldn't get into quarter to seven. So, I have a feeling someone's already in. We've got to wait for them to be tipped. Um, unfortunately, five minutes behind me, uh, when I pulled up, five minutes later, another truck pulled up, look, so, Unfortunate for that driver behind because he's got a long wait. <laughs> um, but yeah, where we are. Get this off, get loaded with Bridge End. I don't actually know where in Bridge End we're going. No idea. Um, but we'll find out later. But yeah, nice, nice sunny day today. Very nice. Right, we are getting loaded. We've got two pallets on already, strapped up. Just waiting for others to go on as well. I've, uh, I've already got my measuring stick out and measured. It's measuring at 4.65 meters. So we'll put 4.7 in the sat nav and make sure we don't go under any bridges under 4.7. We're going to bridge end. So uh, I'm not entirely sure if there's any bridges in bridge end. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah. I was just trying to think where I'm going. I think I've been to bridge end once from here. I can't remember where it was, but I do remember going and staying the night and delivering in the morning. So hopefully we get this off today though. Right, we are getting there. Um, I've got more pallets on. Just waiting for the back lot to be put on now. Um, I had a quick look on Google um, of places in Bridge End that I think it could be. And then I saw a place called Rockwall and I'm like, ha, huh, I've been there. Um, anyway, so I just asked the Fort Lift driver. Yeah, I'm going to Rockwall. So I'm going to Rockwall in Bridge End. It's about four hours I think from here to get there so hopefully we can get there in one hit we've done a little bit of driving this morning only five minutes so unless we like majorly get held up in traffic um, we should be all right but we will need to get a break in there before we go anywhere else or we can stop somewhere on the way down and have a break um, so that once we finish our break we can go get tipped and then we can just crack on to where we've got to go it's not going to affect um, um, how late we get to the next place after that because I've already got to stop for a break. It just matters, all that, all that matters is whether we need to be there by a certain time or not, that's anything. So we're looking to get there hopefully by one o'clock if we hurry up and get loaded, hopefully. But uh, we've been in a while already, been in nearly two hours, so yes. Okay, finally loaded, double strapped the back, look. Strapped all the way down. Let's jump in the cab and get on because uh, there's a lorry waiting to come on in. Right, we're loaded. Engine on. Let's build up some air. Put paperwork away. Yes, yeah, so we turned up today at quarter to seven. And the time now is almost quarter past nine. Uh -huh. So yeah, we've been here for two and a half hours. I can go up there. Right, just got to sort ourselves out quickly before we go. All right. Let's 
get going. Let's get out of here. Yeah, like I said, so we've been here for two and a half hours, which is quite long. Our ETA to our delivery point is uh, 10 past one at the moment, but depends on traffic and whether we stop for a break or not on the way down. We're uh, 23 minutes good for time. This poor lorry driver, there's this, <laughs> this green truck pulled up literally just behind me. At quarter to seven, he pulled up just behind me. It's quarter past nine and he ain't even in yet. Poor bloke. <laughs> Takes ages. Right, can we actually even get out? This truck's parked here, but there's no one in it. Yeah, we should go there. There we go, we're out. We're out. Yeah, so we're going to a place called, I think it's Rockpool in Bridgend. I have been there once before, I vaguely remember. It was like last year. I can't remember exactly the layout of the place. But I'm pretty sure I went in and sort of poured over to the left. Um, the vehicles could get by on the right. It was like it's own independent section. And that's where the pallets were put, if I remember correctly. So it was easy enough. I think I might have to do one side, then move over and do the other side. I can't remember if that was the case or not. But um, yeah, never mind. Good news is we are loaded. <laughs> We're on our way. It's just, uh, yeah, it's gonna take ages to get there. It's literally a four hour drive. Um, non-stop driving now for four hours uh unless we stop for a break i might do when we're about i'll, I'll be driving for at least two hours um maybe two and a half hours and then i may stop for a half an hour break and then um because i've had a 15 minute break in there and then i've got enough time to get to bridge end do the delivery and then once i've done i've got enough time to potentially get all the way back to the yard or, or tetbury or something like that so i can just crack on and get to the next destination so I very well may stop for a uh, half an hour break on the way down somewhere, but I don't know where yet. We've got to get going and uh, we'll, we'll sort that out for everyone down the line. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you join me four hours later. We've done four hours of straight driving, continuous, non-stop driving. And we are in Bridge End. We're just around the corner from the delivery point. Um, not entirely sure where we're going afterwards yet. We'll uh, we'll find out afterwards. <laughs> Need to have half an hour break as well. So, either because we're on we're on like just over four hours of driving. So we'll either have half an hour break on site if we're uh, sat there doing nothing for ages, or we'll have to come out and uh, and have a break somewhere on one of these roads. Um, we're only four minutes away, so we've. By the time we get there and come back out, we'll have uh, over twenty minutes worth of driving. We can get to any one of the. Um, industrial estates in Bridge End if we had to. Not the end of the world. All clear. We have a cattle grid. This is what they needed in my last video <laughs> when the sheep were wandering on the road. <laughs> there were just bloody sheep on the road there. I don't know whether you saw that. There were sheep on the road. The bloody sheep are in the road again, man. What's this about? Um, yeah, so the, there was a sign there saying cattle grid animals. So we've got to be on the lookout for animals in case there are any down here. Um, I see where we're going. We're just going over there. Looks like a big old factory. Got no idea what they do here. Rock wool. No idea. Said I have been here once before, but 
did really pay any attention to what they do. Let's indicate right. I also think I may have come from the other direction last time, I'm not sure. I don't think I come from that way. I think I come from that way last time, potentially. Oh, bloody hell, bumpy road. I've got to have my window down now so I can concentrate. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that entrance we need. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember now. There's a couple of different entrances, but I went in this one last time down here. So I'll, uh, I'll go in this one again. I'm pretty sure it was this one I went in last time. Okay, take a left where this TDW is going. It might be Martin before we know. <laughs> I've not actually spoken to Trucker Janko for a few days. He works for TDW now, doesn't he? Ooh. Cheers, mate. Warning lorries parking. Yes. Uh, all drivers must reverse park. Delivery drivers stop. Report to security. That's what we will do. Let's go report to security. Got a lorry coming behind me while he's coming. I'll put my high vis on. Yes. So, uh, it is where we went last time. He just said make sure I put a hard hat on, so I will. Okay. Like yes, literally straight in front of us, look. Lovely. Right, actually, I, <laughs> I try not to show you too much inside, so uh, I'm going to turn the cameras off. I will see you in a little while. Right, straps are off. Matey boy is taking them off now on the other side. We're just going to uh, walk down the side of the truck, go back inside. Uh, just waiting for a text now from the boss to tell us where we're going next. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're going to have to move over and do the other side when it comes to it. Right, we're tipped. Sorry, I, <laughs> I was just thinking in my head, I've got a busy, busy day tomorrow. Uh, well, tonight and tomorrow which will be in the next video. I'm going to record another video. Right now, we are pretty much done for the video, not for the day. I now need to go to Seven View Services, meet up with a colleague of mine, and I've got to do another trailer swap. So yesterday, I had um, the blue flatbed. Today, I've got the, the red flatbed. Nearly said green then. Red flatbed. And uh, tonight, slash tomorrow, I'm going to have... A curtain cider. We've got to go swap trailers now with um, Carl, one of our colleagues, uh, and then we've got to go to the range in Avonmouth. Got to tip off his waist. We'll be there probably like <laughs> we'll be there like three, half three, something like that. Tip off the waist, but that ain't a problem. The problem is we've got to reload out of there, um, but it's not a, it's not booked in until six o'clock, um, which is fine if the place we weren't going to wouldn't 
<laughs> North Wales. Um, so we've got to go all the way back up to North Wales again, get as far as we can tonight in uh, working time. And it will be working time as well, so I'm going to gonna have to drive as far as I can up until half past nine, because I start at half past six. Um, and then see where we are. But basically, we are <laughs> pushed against time. Not right now, we're not. But later on, we will be pushed against time. We're supposed to be in there for eight o'clock. I can't remember the place it's going to. I can't remember how you pronounce it. I think it's called Ryle, I want to say. Um, yeah, I think it's Ryle. R-H-Y-L is where it's going. It's got to be there for eight o'clock. I think from Avonmouth, it's going to be four hours at the very least to get there. In a truck, it's probably going to be more like five hours. Plus, I need my nine hours off. So, uh, nine add four is going to be 13 hours. It's going to take me 13 hours to get there, um, pretty much. And if I'm going to be loaded at six o'clock, and we'll say I'm there for an hour, and that's a good thing if I'm there for an hour, say I leave at seven o'clock tonight, that's 13 hours, um, which does put it at eight o'clock. But that is an absolute push. That's assuming everything goes right. Um, I'll have to get a break in as well so I can try and get as far as I can on one hit. Um, well, I've just got a break in actually, so my driving time is reset, but I might have to reset it again before I get loaded um, so I can get it in one go. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud to myself. It, we, are, <laughs> we are pushed. Um, we probably won't make eight o'clock delivery. It's probably gonna be more like nine o'clock, but stay tuned and watch the next video to find out if I make that delivery or not. Um, but as for today, as for today, we are finished. Um, that is it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I think it might be a short one, this one. Um, so yeah, apologies if it's too short. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Mind those black island things. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.